What is up guys and welcome back to episode number 21 of the journey with our club number 3, Chievo Verona. Today we will be taking on Porto again in the second round now of um, matches against uh, in our group stage of the Champions League even. Uh, but first let's have a quick look at how we fared off in our two previous games. So after a 3-1 victory against Roma, we went on to Napoli and beat them 2-0. Felix Gomez with the goal and Jose Aldo with a beautiful um, a beautiful little penalty he took. We then went on to Torino where we beat them 4-0 and an absolute cracking goal from Diakita in the 5th minute. Aldo with a brace and Gomez with another goal. Uh, so let's see how we look in the table. Currently we are 3 points clear at the top of the table with Inter Milan in 2nd place on 23 points. So uh, with no further ado, let's jump into this game. And if you guys have enjoyed the episode, uh, well not the episode, but this save so far, don't forget to hit leave a like rain on this video and of course subscribe for more daily videos. Right, so um, I'm going to change one little thing since our last game against them. Uh, I've, I've just changed the map pre match preparation to attack and movement. Not, not look at the end of the day. Look, we've nothing to lose now, so we're just gonna go all for it and um, go for the win. So we're gonna change the team up a little bit. I think we're gonna play. I'm gonna play Diakite. Uh, I'm not gonna. So we need to take five players out. I'm gonna take you out. Take Fofana out. Take Stop it out. Uh, Antonucci out. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, let me see. I'm going to take Machu Brino instead. Right, so that's our team for today. In goal, we have Miltrum. Uh, right back with Conti. Two centre two center halves is Mensa and Martinez. And then our left back is Coletti. Three men in midf midfield from left to right is Diakite, Coquelin and Valverde. Then just in front of them, we have Correa. Correa. Even, I don't know how to pronounce his name, I really don't want more than it every episode. And then up front we have Vlahovic and Conchu. And I may actually bring Felix Gomez in. He's had to score two goals in two games, so I think it's fair. He, he deserves a chance here. And we want to train him as well into that uh, target man position. So that's the squad we're going with. And uh, you only have six substitutes. No, I don't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven substitutes. Uh, game, you are drunk. Go home. Right, so we just throw him in. And it'll now say we have too many substitutes. You have selected one substitute outside the match squad. <laughs> See? Game, you're drunk. You be drunk. But we're going to go with it anyway. And uh, we really, really need... Uh, a win in this game. Both teams, yeah, good form, good. Uh, do do you agree, though, suggest Martinez has to live? Once we're at this stage of the discussion, the writing is already on the wall. It's going to be a struggle now. Can't tell Rafa. I think he's more than does it. Yeah, right, here we go. Uh, me and Rafa Benitez, a little bit of a feud going on because um, he won't pick Martinez for the Spanish squad. And he's playing great for us now, in fairness. He really is. We're going to go pick up where you left off last time out. And then we're going to give them the fate, guys. Going to have to fate, the fate, the fate. Oh, got to have fate, the fate, the fate. Um, here we go. And I'm hoping, like, we are the away team today, so we are a bit of a disadvantage. But, fingers crossed, um, we, uh, we can come out with a win. Now, there's another little issue as well. I may have changed this, did I? Yeah, I did. I was wondering why the highlights were on, um, weren't as many as the last time. Uh, as usual, even. Oh, no, no, no. Not a nearly goal. Oh, thank God for that. Uh, but, yeah, there wasn't as many highlights as usual. And it was because I had switched it to uh, to extended or uh, to key uh, for one of the games off camera. And I forgot to change it back, of course. But I'm hoping. Come on, we're a minute in. We haven't had any shots. We have. They have more possession. Uh, here they are in the counter-attack. I was debating whether to go counter attack for this game or not, uh, and voted against it. As I said, we've nothing to lose in this game. Uh, we, we, the only team we'll get out of this game is uh, we'll go ahead of Arsenal, and then I think we have Arsenal in our next game, and then we'll have 
Uh, oh no, a fucking penalty. I might have to be talking Gomez up. Oh, not Gomez. Gomez? Who the fuck's Gomez? Come on, Miltrum. Come on, son. Come on. Get in there, you little beauty. Chesney would not be able to do that. Uh, but yeah, um, currently we have nothing to lose in this game. Uh, if we win, hoping we do, uh, we'll go just ahead of Arsenal. And um, oh, Korea nearly with the goal, uh, and and that's it. But we we'll, we need to win our remaining three games. And I'm gonna straight off the back. I'm gonna just encourage them. You know, if one of them is they're looking frustrated, and that's one thing I can't allow to have because. They don't play well when they're frustrated. No player does. They all they do is dirty challenges. Valverde almost getting the goal but hitting the post. I'm liking this now. Uh, more highlights for the episodes. Maybe a little bit longer, but look, it, it, it'll be worth it in the end. You get better content. Two shots so far. Two off target. One clear cut chance and one half chance. Uh, not really the best of stats, but look, it, it, we are the away team. I can only uh, encourage the lads really to, to play a little bit better. We have most of the possession. He's 70% 70, 70 possession. Um, and 220 passes currently. But the, the clock seems to be uh, very slow, which is in our favour because we do need a goal. Here's Coletta with the ball. And Valverde now. Correa just taking away from his toe. And here's Oliveria. And a nice, easy save for Miltrum. Distributed to Conte, and that's the end of the highlight. Uh, I'm not gonna go attacking. Went attacking uh, last time round, and it didn't really work out. We end up losing two 0 Well, when I say I'm not gonna go attacking, I just mean I'm not gonna go attacking just yet. Um, it may cause us to concede a goal that 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 we don't really need to concede right now. If uh, Arsenal and Dortmund stay the same, it it could give us a glimmer of hope as well. Ball out to Coletta. And no use with the cross. Valverde. And here's his Gomez. Get in there you little beauty. Woohoo. Get in. Sorry about the shouting guys. Uh, your, your ears might be a little bit sensitive to that. And here we are. Let's have a look at this. Valverde. With a lovely pass to Conchu. And a cutting pass to Gomez. The man we switched in today. And a very good finish. He still had an awful lot to do from where he was. And it took precise finishing to score that one. So we have gone now above Arsenal. And hoping their game stays the same. And that's it. Half time. Yeah, I'm going to say yeah. Well done. Well done boys. Uh, and then you weren't bad. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them the faith. I'm going to. I might, might overdo it, but hopefully they can uh, take something from this. They're extremely delighted. That's what you want. You want happy but happy lads going back out on the field who will actually do something. I remember before saying in one of the episodes, uh, I can't remember if it was with Cardiff or Bowes, that everyone looked happy with me team talks. That's perfect, yeah, but they weren't doing anything on the pitch. Uh, but it looks like today... We are in good form. It, 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 in terms of stats, a very boring first half, so to say. Only three shots from me at a team. And uh, hopefully second half can be just a little bit better. Uh, I'm not going to sit back just yet. It's, it's, I think it's too early in the game to sit back. Um, that, Of course, that penalty could have been a crucial changing point in the game if it, if they had scored it. But Mildrum rose to the challenge and uh, pulled off a brilliant save. I'm really confident in the military. He seems to be a very good player. Uh, obviously still very young. I think he's only 19 or 20 years of age. But Chesney is coming on a little bit. and He done okay maybe in the fourth season. Still maybe an, an awful lot of mistakes. Um, and for some reason he just likes being beaten at his near post. And one thing I've always said in this game. To find consistent strikers and goalkeepers. The two hardest thing to do, unless you start to say with I don't know Bayern Munich and you have uh, Manuel Neuer, that that you, you get consistency out of him maybe, but I don't think football manager likes giving you um an a, an easy goalkeeper. But here we are now. Don't no mistakes, no mistakes. Don't get caught with the ball. Just hoof it and the ball goes straight back and they're in here and it's off the post and Miltrum. Gets that second ball. That was a close one. 
Our players are looking a bit tired in the 65th minute. And Correa might as well come off. Um, we don't have... Ah, no, they took Volpe off us. We want to bring Conte off. We're going to bring on yourself, or you, and um, let's see, what are you like as an advanced playmaker, Storaro? Uh, you're not bad, you're not bad at all. So we keep you there, and get yeah, you coming on as well. So that's the only change we're going to make for now. If we could get a second goal, it'd be absolutely great. It'd, it wouldn't seal the game out, but it would just you know, give us a little bit more uh, comfort in the game. If you can hear any background noise, guys, sorry about that. It's just uh, I have a dog out the back, and he, he's currently going mad at either a board or a cat. Here we are with Coletti, Storaro, and Conchu. The ball has just snapped off him. And we have it back here with Coquelin. Stolen away again. Storaro, Coquelin, the Akite. They're closing out very quick and they could be on a counter attack here, which it looks like they are. And the lay and Miltrum again with a great save. I still think it's too early to go a uh, counter attack. And fuck it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go counter attack. And I'm gonna throw in a calm concentrate. Just for the remainder of the game. Uh we will hold off on the substitution for the moment. We'll do a cheeky little Time wasting substitute near the end of the game, maybe 80 minute, 80th minute or something, and that is a terrible pass. And we need to win it back here, and we're sitting back way too much. And it's a brilliant save again from Mildrum. He is keeping us in this game, and the ball's played out. It's back in again, and I, I fear to think that maybe all this battering ram um, technique they are giving us. Hopefully it does not pay off. Conchu whips the ball in but to no avail. They are on the counter attack again. And the ball played in and Oliveira cannot do anything with it. They're really pulling on the pressure here. We still only have those three shots and we're holding out. Um, I'm going to wait two more minutes. No, I can't wait. Bring a Vlahovic on now. Uh, time waste to substitute Vlahovic for Felix Gomez. who's played very well. Uh, not going to lie, he has played very well. Last three games, scoring three goals, of course. Um, he's a player that I actually uh, wanted to replace Vlahovic with. I've seen his stats, uh, very good stats, of course, and I knew I wanted to play him as a target man. And his stats do look strong enough as a target man. He's only 19 years of age, so he still has plenty of time. But no, not, not one of these goals. Don't. Oh, I'm going to get FM'd here, am I? One minute left. Not even now. Get it out. Oh, beautiful save by Mildrum. He has to be man of the match, this fella. Ball played out. 20 seconds or so to go. And here's Conchie with the ball. Runs with it and loses it. Two. One out. That's all over. Get in there. All over. We've picked up our first three points of the tournament. And I have to give it to them. That, that was special. They played well out there today. They, they got battered and battered. But they held up against it let's have a look at the stats i have to say it, man of the match easy has to be Miltrum, in my eyes anyway and who was it it was it was Miltrum. i knew it would be so we had three shots one on target and they had 11 and only six on target so it only goes to show how pl how well we played but that is it we've our first three points and well we've four all together we can still do it we can still do it we just need to uh continue the result on in our next match against Arsenal. But anyway guys. I will see you in just a moment. For the game against Palermo. Right guys. So welcome back for today's game. Against Palermo. And uh, still top of the table. Still going strong. Um, ourselves and Inter Milan. Have a game over at AC Milan. So let's. Um, oops. Oops a daisy. Let's jump in. And uh, see how we're getting. How, who we're going to pick for today even. Don't forget, of course, if you made it this far in the video, uh, leave a like rating, show the support, you know, if you're in a good mood uh, of a Tuesday, you know, nearly Friday, don't forget. 
Right, uh, we're going to play Volbeat for this game and who else, who else, who else, who else? Um, I don't want to change too much. I want to bring, no, I'm bringing Milchum, of course, back in after that brilliant uh, showcase of last game. Oh, well, that's that's not Milchum, no, that, that's not Milchum at all. Uh, let's see. I don't want to change too much, as I said, uh, because... Like the team seems to be playing well. I don't want to take Gomez out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep Gomez in. Uh, let's bring Matthew Green in for Correa, and bring Storaro in for Cockingham. You know they both fit perfect there. And uh, yeah, that's the squad I'm going with. Let's get into it. It's a, it's a winning squad, I believe. I think. I hope. And. Uh, Another great result today will see us not well depending on Inter Milan's result, it could see us pull away at the top of the table. You know, how much of a boost? Yeah, I'll just say that. Carry on. Oh no, 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 no. Whoops a daisy. Opposition. You have to give the old opposition instructions. Not that there's much in that one. Team talk. Give him that, and let's. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Let's no way they can get too cocky with that. Let's just give them the faith. Um, it seems to work. I suppose. <clears throat> Cause you gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. Oh, you gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. Now that's that, and uh, let's just jump into the game itself and. The, the, the morale is brilliant at the moment. The, the boys are happy. Yeah, they're playing well. And they they got such a good we got such a good response after um that horrific defeat against Dortmund. That is that right now it seems to be just a faint memory. You know, it, although I think we were still champions Champions League uh, heartbroken uh, against Porto. Here's Valverde and sends the ball over. Uh, fifth minute, two shots. One off target, two bloody long shots as usual. Like if, if anyone knows how I can like stop them from taking long shots, any like any more than I already have, you know I have them all on shoot less apart from Conchu and I have walked the ball into the box and all that. And here's the Akite and it's a brilliant save from the keeper and it just bounces around. It's pinballing everywhere. Yeah, but yeah, if you guys know any secret plan on <laughs> on how to do that. I'll be uh, very grateful. And we're 15 minutes in now, we seem to be dominating the game. Uh, and hopefully we can get a goal before half time or two. I'll be happy with two. Gomez and a great shot and a great save. Corner whipped in and it's out to the edge of the box. Storaro, who loses it, and Palermo are now on the counter attack, but they don't have many men in numbers. And Corky uh, defends well. Six shots, two on target, two off target, and that free kick was off target. But we have five long shots, which is so frustrating because our football is so good. But we just can't seem, we just don't seem to walk the ball into the box like I'm telling them to actually do. And it's a lovely, he gets away from his man very good. And Miltrum probably makes a bit of a mistake there. And he flaps at the ball. Oh, I thought that was a penalty for a minute. Uh, Three points clear, still at the top of the table. Inter Milan currently drawing their game, but still they, they haven't had a shot at all, and we've we've had sixty nine percent possession. Here's Gomez with the ball and lovely run. The Akita and the ball is deflected wide for a corner. Juventus, where are they? They're eight currently in the league. We seem to be creeping up that table bit by bit. It's the Akita, Green, Gomez. And is that a penalty? No, it's a free kick in a dangerous area though. And here's Valverde. And it's absolutely shocking. Absolutely shocking. He is probably one of the tighter players though in the team. He's been playing an awful lot of football. Um, I have Antonucci there. I didn't really want to bring him in for this game. I will bring him on at half time. I think you know, I'll give Valverde a bit of a rest. I don't want any unnecessary injuries at this stage of the season. I suppose it will be worse to get them. 
later on in the season as well. But here's a free kick in, and it's cleared. And they seem to be back in again. Oh, and how did he miss that? That is it. That's a dreadful miss. That that's tack. That's a taxi miss. Taxi, cocky. As Stararo, Valverde. There's some beautiful passing going on with nearly seven hundred, seven hundred six, four hundred passes. I just say some Gomez with the pot shot going towards the corner into that right hand corner, but no joy. And we will go into half time now. Uh, level pegging. With Palermo, and where's Antonucci? There he is, there we bring him on. And uh, just say to him, Look, I'm not happy. I'm gonna say, I'm not happy. That that gets a good result, a good see. You look fired up, gotta go passionate now. You have the ability, you see, when you weren't bad, you, know, you give them the faith, you give them the faith, and then we go, and you have the ability to make a real difference. Along with uh, themselves, the strikers as well. Uh, it seems that a Conchu was, was kind of relaxed on the goal scoring uh, last game or two. Well, in this game and the last game. He just seems to love scoring when um, he's not being like shown to the, to the YouTube uh, nation. Savoy, Diakite, and lovely ball to Conchu, but that's... It's a kick-off highlight, and you you don't really get many goals from them. And hopefully we can snap something up here out of this game, because these are the games we really need to win. Um, the game, These are games that, this time last year, they let they actually let us down. Uh, we, we could have been in for a push for the league last year. And here's Gomez, and there's a lovely near post finish from Gomez once again. That's his fourth goal in four games. Absolutely brilliant. And masterminded this one, Conchu, with a lovely ball through to Gomez. Keeper leaves his, his, his uh, front post wide open and gets a little touch on it, but it just goes in anyway with the power that was in him. And that's exactly what we asked for at the start of the game. We asked for a bit more. And they've given us a little bit more. Uh, I would go attacking. Um, maybe nah. I don't think we have any need to go attacking. Um, we're comfortable enough. And oh, can't you with, uh, with the the shot there? And I think he caught the keeper off guard a bit, but it went over. And blew, lovely from the Akita. And unfortunately, Gomez loses it. And Vol Volpi. Uh, just gets danced around there. Here's Kofi and oh, brilliant save from Milchum, who has looked very strong the last couple of games, and he could he could uh, very well replace Chesney. Um, I think Chesney's contract is out this year on oh, block shot from Storaro, and it could be his last year. Provendale, he's still at the club. He, he hasn't featured whatsoever. I, I don't think he will neither. The Akita Storaro and oh, goes wide, it goes wide. 66 minutes in, and I'm looking for that substitute, but who will it be? Storaro hasn't played the last game. I'm going to switch him out for the Akita, although the Akita is playing very well. We're going to bring Coquelin on, and uh, we're going to leave it at that for the moment. And then. Um, just, you know, give a few players a bit of a run out, keep the match sharpness and fitness up, something we, we don't always do with our players. Um, I'm, I'm, with this year, with Champions League and all, I, I pretty much have two separate um, teams kind of in certain positions. Like, if if Conti, who is the better right back, plays in the Champions League, Volpi will play in the following league game. I just think it's best that way. You know, you get the best out of both players. Volpi is a good player. And uh, he works better in that wing-back defensive position. Oh, and here we are. It is a sending off, is it? Yes, it is. Stambouli. Benjamin Stambouli is gone to the dressing room. It's very early in for his shower. So this will... We can capitalise on this now. And can't you just overruns it. He forgets the ball. And lovely snatchback. Is Storaro Antonucci Green 
and we haven't really played much this year. Oh, and what a save by the keeper! It was, it was a wonderful shot as well from um, from Gomez. I think we'll give Gomez a full game today, and we'll bring on um, Vlahovic for um, what's his name again? Can't you <laughs> forgetting his name there? Um, he hasn't scored. He, he's played well. He has a seven point two rating. Uh, but let let Gomez have a full game. He scored four goals in four games, and maybe it could be five goals in four games if uh, if Vlahovic can get in an assist, maybe. With five minutes left on the clock. I feel comfortable enough that I don't have to tell them to, to concentrate, but I'm going to tell them anyway. There's a, a nervous head out there. Who's that? Coughlin feeling nervous. And and surprisingly, um, Coughlin hasn't got a yellow card today. Well, well, I may be proven wrong with that one. Oh, and almost from Green just over the bar. And that's it. Two, oh, I was going to say 2-0. It was 1-0, right? It wasn't the most ideal victory. Um, But look, a win is a win. And I'm not going to criticise the lads really for that. Although I would if we were on a good run of uh, farm. We've won a few games, yes. But when we get to the... 10 games in a row kind of thing I'll, uh, I'll start criticising that 1-0 then but yeah as you can see 3 points clear again at the top of the table only lost 1 game so far this season and we're going to have a quick look at the L schedule for when we will be back next and I've already discussed it in yesterday's video when we will return and what kind of video special we're going to do um for our next game but should look we just do our daily routine and we'll look at it anyway so let's have a look let's get into the schedule here if the computer decides to uh, just speed its ass up right so schedule who will we play while we're gone right so we'll only play the one game while we're gone that's against Cagliari and we'll then come back for Arsenal skip the Cessina match and we'll play Dortmund in one episode but anyway guys as always, thank you for dropping on, boy, and that is it for today's episode. As always, smash that like button, please, as I would really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below, of course, as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new for more great content. And, of course, follow me over on Twitter, at The Near Gamer, and Facebook, The Near Gamer. Links down in the description. And, as always, guys, thank you, and adios. <laughs>